Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I want to make another funny video I would say. Welcome to MBBS. So I still remember the day when I first got admission into Calcutta National Medical College. It was really nice. I was overwhelmed with joy. I was waiting for my professional course to start so that I can wear that apron and have the stethoscope across my neck. Well, first of all, congratulations. You made it so far. You have cracked either NEET, UG or some sort of a state medical exam and you have got admission into medical college so what i'm going to try to do in this video is break down what you need to know about medical college and i've got bad news for you because this is going to be really difficult medical college is not easy so a few years ago i was in the same position as you are right now and it was really difficult for me in the beginning to figure out how this all works so i was a bright student in plus 1 and plus 2 that's that is class 11 and 12 but Medical college is a totally different entity. People usually study around, let's say, five to six hours, maybe a little more in their plus one, plus two. So in medical college, you have your classes from nine in the morning to four in the evening. And you come back home, maybe you sleep for an hour and then you, again, you go straight into studying. So that's like another five, six hours. So first things first, the first year of medical college, which this video is about, has three subjects, anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. You think you have an idea of how the human body works, you frankly don't. All these subjects are going to be really challenging. So the first year of medical college is really going to decide how your medical career is going to shape out. The well prepared you are during the first year of medical college, the better you are going to perform in the future years. So let's talk anatomy. Anatomy is a study of the masterpiece. So you are going to become an engineer of the human body, right? But first of all, you need to identify the parts. So all the muscles, their attachments, all the bones in, in our body, their features. So you need to be really thorough with this, especially in Indian medical colleges. Professors are going to go into extreme details on the attachment of muscles, the function of the muscles and also bones, histology, embryology and other things. Physiology is to understand how the whole system works. And it's really essential to understand physiology because if you don't have a good grasp of physiology then in future you will have really difficulty in understanding pharma as well as path and the whole basis of medicine is pathophysiology so unless and un until you put in a lot of effort understanding how the whole body works then it will become really difficult for you to do well in the future years while biochemistry will tell you how tiny non-living magical molecules make this whole system run so like you know, MBBS is a 5.5 years course. So that's five years and another six months. So it's divided like this. So first year is of one year, first semester and the second semester, six months, six months. Second year is of three semesters, fourth semester, fifth and sixth semester. So that's 1.5 years in the second year. Third year is again of two semesters, sixth and seventh. And final year is again of two semesters. 8th and 9th that adds up to 4.5 years of medicine one year of compulsory internship is mandatory in india four and a half years of studying and one year of working as a junior doctor that's internship so total becomes 5.5 years since we're talking about the first year in this welcome to mbbs video i want to tell you that first year is really only of eight to nine months it's not 12 months so i have some good news for you and some bad news let me give you the bad news first Medical books are really costly, but the good news is that most of the books you can either get from your seniors for free and then you can give them to your juniors and the whole tradition continues. But also you will have some sort of a cheap store near your medical college. So there they sell these books at a lower price, usually at a discounted rate of 10 to 20 percent. Now let me individually break down all the three subjects. Anatomy is going to be the most extensive subject out of these three and most of your time is going to go into studying all the minute details. But is it really necessary? I would say yes and no. You are supposed to know the whole human body in details but you are not supposed to remember everything, right? The resources which you are going to choose are going to be really important because if you study from the most extensive resource let's say a book that is 1000 pages 1500 pages without illustrations like for the whole year it is going to be really difficult for you to revise i have a separate video on how to choose resources a lot of your professors and your peers are going to choose such books and you are going to be really afraid in the beginning of your career right they are studying from a book that is this size and you are studying from something which is this size during the exam the final exam it's 
extremely difficult to revise 1500 pages in two days so the person who is doing that most likely will not be able to finish that and will have to fall back on something else so for anatomy i used gray's anatomy for students as my reference book it's a big book about 1100 pages but at the same time it contains a lot of pictures that really helps me understand anatomy but at the same time it's not really detailed in india people usually follow bd chaurasia or in west bengal people follow arup kumar datta commonly called akd these books are really good when you are doing the post graduation in anatomy or you want to become a surgeon and you want to know things in details if you are studying for medical college you should not be using this book as your primary resource you might use them to look something up but if you are trying to memorize it word by word you are going to fail during your final exam because try to understand all the books add up to something like this that's 1500 to 1000 pages which you no will not be able to go through in a couple of days like i said gray's anatomy for students edition is what i followed as my reference book it was really nice and uh, really detailed then i used something like akd or bd chaurasia for my college exams and i prepared a few of the answers from these books because sometimes in indian colleges they are only going to ask something which you will be able to find in the indian authors let's talk about physiology so in physiology it's really important that you understand there are a ton of physiology books which your professor or your friend is going to recommend to you so these are usually indian authors they don't understand physiology at the level of the medical student just because the physiology professor has written a book like this you are not supposed to study it word by word what you need to do is you need to buy a small book you need to go through that word by word and then once you have a basic idea of the chapter which you are reading you go to the big book and you try to grasp as much concept as possible i am going to tell you about something which not a lot of people use but this book has been used in the united states so it's brs physiology it's written by linda s costanzo i'm going to link that down so this book is a gem because once you study from this book it becomes really easy for you to understand the concepts and then you can move to the indian bigger books or the reference book for reference book uh, some something which you can use is gaitan or ganang biochemistry is one of those subjects which people think they know from plus one and plus two but they really don't so if you don't study biochemistry from your day one or if you're watching this video even before your medical college has started i would suggest try to finish off as much as biochemistry as possible biochemistry is going to be that subject which gets neglected till the last day before exam let's say you study six hours in a day so you are going to be studying anatomy for 4.5 hours just to be at the pace of your college everybody is going to be doing that because if you don't study anatomy for the most of your day you are going to miss out on details and next day when you go for class you won't be able to understand anything so if you're studying six hours you will only have 1.5 hours left that 1.5 hours is to going to go like a second when you're studying from the physiology book so biochemistry will get left out usually in the first semester the biochemistry syllabus is really less and most of it is from your plus one and plus two knowledge so not a lot of people are going to be interested in studying biochemistry but as soon as you move in your second semester the syllabus is expanded you don't have additional time right you are still studying anatomy and physiology at your regular pace let's talk about the resources for biochemistry the well-known resource which everybody is going to recommend to you is harper's illustrated biochemistry i absolutely hated that book i am sorry i must be offending a lot of people on the comment section but yeah that book is not for medical students some books are written for postgraduate students and not medical students you are a medical student and you need to know the whole framework you don't need to go into extreme details unless and until you want a career in biochemistry the book which i am going to recommend and i have been using this book for a long time it's called lippincott's illustrated biochemistry review so lippincott's is a really great book when it comes to illustration it's almost like the reference book as a gray's anatomy so you get to see a lot of illustrations going on but at the same time the material is not that huge for you to cover vasudevan and satya naran is used both by md biochemistry students as well as mbbs student the chapters in vasudevan don't have for md or like this paragraph for mbbs students only that's not how the book is written right so you need to fall back on the indian author books when you are preparing for the college exams or there is this very particular question which your professor really likes and he picked it up from vasudevan or satyanarayan but otherwise if you want to get a good understanding of biochemistry i would suggest and recommend using 
lipin cuts a new resource which is now available and wasn't present when i was in medical school is online made it dr justin williams has done a great job of creating basic science videos so what you can do and i would suggest you also watch my video of choosing the correct resource but in short i will say uh, try to stick to a video resource because in case you miss out on a lecture then you want to fall back on something or someone because just by opening a medical book you will not be able to study on your own it's really difficult because the concepts are not that well written even in for an author's book so if somebody is telling you something so it becomes really important to attend the live lectures as well as have a video resource which you can rely on when you have missed a lecture or you want to prepare beforehand so the final section this section is for those overachievers who have come with the th uh, thought that they are, they are going to be like the absolute best i had that thought and eventually i ended up with like two honors in fl uh, first year so i got honors in physiology and biochemistry biochemistry i also got gold medal that's highest in like my class if you want to outperform your batchmates or outperform other people what you need to do is very simple you need to know exactly what is going to be taught the next day in class if you know this and if you study this beforehand the class becomes a revision for you and the whole point of going to the college becomes more productive so if you rely on your college teachers for teaching you that's not going to happen nobody is going to spoon feed you how glycolysis cycle works right so ideally you should go to the professor or go to the assistant and ask what, uh, give me the schedule so once you have the schedule you know that glycolysis is going to be taught tomorrow you open online made it the day before and you go through the glycolysis pathway once and you have a basic framework running in your head so when you go to class you already know something about what is going to be taught so you are already at an advantage so when the teacher teaches it you already know what you know and then you add on it this becomes really useful because other people are going to be sitting there blank trying to learn while you are going to be actively revising i really hope that this video was helpful Be, uh, what ended up happening was i failed in my first um, medical exam in uh, medical college so anatomy superior extremity part exam uh, i studied a lot i studied from grays i studied from akd and bdc i prepared a lot but what i didn't do is i solved the questions i didn't solve questions and that uh, resulted in me not being able to pinpoint the information which the teacher was asking so my last and final advice for uh, like starting mbbs as in the college journey is going to be uh, try to talk to your seniors make friends and uh, find out what kind of questions you are going to get last but not the least try to solve mcqs i know it is really difficult in first year of mbbs to find time to finish the syllabus and over and above i'm talking about mcqs no it's going to be really difficult but if you are able to let's say do mcqs for 15 minutes at least you will have that orientation which you had in plus 1 and plus 2 with all this gyan which i just gave you right now i hope i didn't scare you but i wanted to make mbbs for at least the first year easy for you with that i would like to end this video in case if you know someone who is going to start their medical college soon try to give them this video and definitely thank you for watching this